All the details, everything you wanted to know about the Chevrolet Cruze. All right, so we've really got a whole lot lined up for you. And in fact, the past few weeks, we've really been punching out the exclusive reviews, haven't we? The Toyota Fortuna, you saw it first on this program, and now we bring you another car first exclusively. You again got a preview of it last week, and now all the details on the Chevrolet Cruze. The package seems really exciting. So many of you have been writing in and asking more about it. Well, all the details are now revealed. And remember, right through this report, right through the episode, you can chat with me live. Just type in CNB and then your message and send it to 56388. Here's the Chevrolet Cruze. Well, I got a hold of this blue Cruze on a dull, rainy, cloudy day and took it for a spin just outside Vadodara. You saw the sneak preview last week, of course, and now the details as promised. The Cruze is a smart four-door. It's targeted at popular sedans like the Volkswagen Jetta, the Honda Civic, and it's no different here in India too. The car has big rivals here as well. The rain has moved down to a little bit of a drizzle, so it's a good opportunity to finally get out and talk about the exterior styling on the cruise. A lot of our regular viewers, some of you on Facebook as well, always ask me about this. I know that a lot of you are, uh, of course, regulars like Bharat, Rajendra and uh, Varun, some of you on Facebook have really been talking about styling on vehicles. I know it becomes a very important point or a consideration these days, especially for buyers. So I think that's the part which is going to grab buyers on the cruise as well. It's a very aggressive, in-your-face sort of look. So when you see the car from up front, it grabs your attention. Now, you'll either like it or you won't like it. That's a subjective matter altogether. The grille, I like the way it's been split by this one particular horizontal bar that goes through it, a huge Chevy logo. Not something new because that's very typical Chevrolet America styling. In the US, a lot of Chevy models, the Malibu, etc., have had this. But what's different is the, the shape of the grille itself. It sort of goes down into the chin. It's nice and big, very solid and uh, almost SUV-like in the front. I like that. I like the fact that it has a little bit of a point down here. It also corresponds, you can't really make out in the rain, but there is a little bit of a ridge line right in the center of the hood there, which uh, sort of corresponds to that. So overall, grabs your attention, as I mentioned, and the hood is slightly raised, which is, again, different. All the chrome that's been thrown into the grille adding to the overall look. The inbuilt fog lamps in the high-end version down here, pretty sporty as far as the bumper goes. The headlamp cluster, it goes upwards. That's something you're seeing in a lot of cars, but it's at a rakish, sharp angle. There are lots of lines, and uh, it's a simple headlamp cluster in itself. There's no gimmicks, no extra chrome thrown in there, but it's just that shape which gets your attention. The styling is very distinct, very American, and yet shows off a solidity that GM cars are slowly getting known for in Europe too. And that's what I liked about it more than the shape itself. Now this car will replace what we know as the Optra in most markets, but in India, both will sell alongside, one as an entry offering and the other as premium. Tubar.com. 